Hello everybody, this is Kittens, and this is um, the video I promised you on how to do trade evolution. Um, this video is a very simple video, but you need to understand um, what you need to download and what exactly um, you're going to want to be using. So, w without further ado, we're just going to start this off. First and foremost, I will only be using like a small section of my desktop, just because my desktop is so messy right now. So, uh, if you notice that, I am... I apologize. And another thing I want to mention is that my TGB Dual is being completely retarded with save files, and I guess it has like a built-in, um, some kind of like auto-remember thing where like it remembers the last save file it opened, and it won't open any other save file, and then, and then. Um, so basically it's loading my Pokemon test file, but I have found a way around that, so I think we'll be set. So first and foremost, you're going to want to open up TGB Duel, and when you do, or the folder TGB Duel, you will get uh, basically what this looks like. I made the same folder, um, but whatever. What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to uh, take your .sav file from um, your other emulator, and you're going to need to drag and drop it in here. And you're also going to need to make a copy of it and make it an SA2 file. Uh, don't worry, they say the same size and everything, and the information stays intact, so you can you can change the extension, and your data will be perfectly fine. If, you, if you're like me, you're going to have to change this SA2 back to an SAV, and then you're going to have to delete your original SAV, because for some freaking reason, my uh, this emulator is not reading the right data off of this SAV. It's like, it's kind of, I don't know what, what's going on, but this data that it's reading is not this SAV, and I can't find where it's reading the SAV from, but, um, anyways, so what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to make these two files. Uh, once you do, you just go back, you just go back to TGB Duel, and you just run TGB Duel, and you will get a picture that looks like this. In fact, I'll minimize that so you guys can just see that. Um, I do not recommend tabbing over to anything while you're messing with TGB Duel because TGB Duel has been known to crash if you do that. So uh, first you're going to want to mess with the options. The keys are the main thing. Uh, you're going to you have to keep in mind you're going to be controlling two Game Boys with this, so you have to set up the keys accordingly. Um, I don't use the select button at all for trading, so I don't mess with that. For this one, I use Enter. For this one, I use Delete. For B, I use space. For this one, I use backspace. Uh, for start, I use the number 1. For start, I use the number pad 5, which is right in the center of the number pad. Uh, and then for up, I use up and number pad 8. Down is down and number pad 2, etc., etc., etc. So you can just uh, click OK here. And now you're going to want to load two Game Boy files. Um, you can load either one. For me, I have to load the first, the second one first, so it's going to give me um, a list of ROMs I can, I can, you know, open, and I'm going to be opening Pokemon Crystal version. So now, here you go, see? Now you got that one loading. Now you can load the first one, and it's going to do the exact same thing. Uh, you can scroll down, and you're going to want to load Pokemon Crystal version. So now you have both, um emulators open, so you're going to want to skip this part, and you can tell the top one has the day as Tuesday at 10.33, the bottom one has the day as Monday at 9.52. Uh, the top one was a test file I was using just to make sure it would emulate right, and the bottom file is a, um, well, the top one's more of like a test file, but did you guys remember how I had to restart my game in the beginning, like episode two? Uh, this file is to make sure that that won't happen again. And uh, the, the bottom one is my current save file. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to load both of these. And see, you can see the Pokedex on the top one's higher, and the play time on the bottom one's higher, and the top one I have four badges at 20 hours. And I'm already in front of the um, person there. So what you're going to want to do with this one is you're going to want to go to the Pokemon Center and you're going to want to go up the stairs. And you're going to want to go over here. Um, 
You have to trade twice unless you're using the exact same save file, then you only have to trade once. I have to trade twice though. Um which can be a pain in the pain in the ass, but you just talk to the trade lady here. And you click yes. And now you see it loaded, so now you have to save the game. You click yes. There's already a save file. Is it okay to overwrite? You click yes. Um, also, make sure you pay attention to which keys you picked uh, for enter because you don't want to click Control Alt and Delete because then you bring up your Task Manager or you know Shift or anything because then you gotta mess around with that. So what you do is you just walk up with the bottom one you want to walk to the left, with the top one you want to walk to the right, and now you just talk to the machine. And I can say please wait. Okay. Now I have Graveler in my top party and I have um, Golem in my bottom party. So, um, and I obviously have the same Growlithe, so if I wanted two shiny Growlithe I could just, you know, trade the Growlithe over. But um, I'm not going to be doing that. I'm just going to be trading Graveler. There we go. Quick trade. And I'm going to be trading Golem. Click trade. And you're going to want to accept the trade. And here we go. Uh, ID 38111. So now Graveler is going over to um, my other file. Basically. <laughs> it's kind of weird. And there they go. They get Graveler. So KWI is Graveler. KWI sent out Golem. So now he's going to trade me Golem the exact same ID number. 3811. It's the exact same go uh, Graveler too. Because um, as I said, this file was just me testing after um, that whole situation in episode one. So now, uh, basically, now you're gonna, now as you see, Graveler is evolving. Into Golem! And we got a Golem. So that's my uh, little tutorial on how to do this. Um, I will show you guys the trade back, just so you guys. And then I'll show you the save file working, just so you guys can uh, confirm that this is completely safe to do. Um, now, what you're going to need to do is you need to take the golem that you both have, and you're going to need to trade those back. You really don't have to do this if you're if you're loading the same save file because it's the same trainer ID. Uh, so. Um, it's not like you'll get boosted experience or anything like that. But for me, I'm going to trade them back. This trick also works if you uh, have a copy of silver and crystal, and, or silver and gold, and you want to trade Pokemon back and forth. Uh, that's also a method of using this emulator. This emulator is also really nice because... Um, of the of this trading ability. You can also use it to play Legend of Zelda for swords and a bunch of other uh, trade only games. Or you need uh, multiple Game Boy games, I mean. So I like this emulator, it's really nice. Um, my only complaint with it, as I mentioned earlier, was the whole it keeping the first save file you loaded stored in its memory. I don't know. I couldn't find it on my computer at all, even after searching, so. Okay, the trade was complete. And now you're going to want to cancel the trade. There we go. You're going to want to cancel. Why does it keep doing that? Okay. Um, you're going to want to cancel the trade there. There we go. Okay. My button must have been sticking. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to exit.
Okay, now you want to make sure you save your game. Um, this is a mistake that I see a lot of people make. And if you don't save your game here, I don't believe you keep the Pokemon that you traded. Um, I'm not sure how that worked exactly. I think I, um, Hidden saves you sometimes. But I have seen people on YouTube actually um, not keep their save. They might have been glitching it, but I don't know. Okay, so now you saved your game. And I'm just going to prove to you that this works if you're forced into a situation like I was. So now you're going to want to exit the emulator. And now you're going to want to bring up your Visual Boy, which I have the folder open over here. There we go. And as you can see, Visual Boy Advance, you load... Oh, wait. I, I, sorry, sorry, people. I completely forgot. Uh, first and foremost, what you have to do is you have to go to the TGG file. Go to your save file. Make a backup of this just in case. Um, something goes wrong, so you just paste it, and you can just keep it as the name copy. You can remove that copy later. And you just delete the original save. If you're in my situation, delete the original save, and you rename your SA2 to an SAV file. And yes, you want to change the name. Now what you do is you copy this to your desktop, or wherever um, your Pokemon Crystal ROM is, and see mine is right there above Pokemon Crystal. Now what you do is you load up your favorite emulator. Um, I use Visual Boy Advance. Uh, you can use, I believe you can use No Money GBA, or you can just use TGB Duel if that's something you just you don't want to switch out or whatever. So now what you do is you just open your Game Boy, and you open up Pokemon Crystal. Failed to read the RTC. Okay, that's weird. And there you go. Um, I don't know why it said fail to read the RTC, but okay. It must have been something, like, weird with the save file. I really don't use save files too much anyway. I use save states because they're a lot more reliable, in my personal opinion. Uh, because save files, you, you know, you get all messed up. And here's the golem that I got. Uh, very nice Golem. 71 attack. You know, very nice Pokemon. So yeah, that's how you do trade evolutions. Uh, if you guys want me to make a video on how to do happiness evolutions, let me know. Um, they're very simple. All you, I, all you really have to do is go to the Haircut Brothers, stand in front of them, uh, talk to one of them, do the haircut, and then... Just keep changing the day on your clock, and that's basically how you do it. But yeah, this is Kitten signing off, and I'll see you all next time.